Hey, what's up everybody around the world? Welcome back to another tutorial in Revit Global Nodex. It's been a while from my previous tutorial. I think about one month ago since I released my previous tutorial on September. And today I'm going to create a new tutorial about modeling glass block in Revit. The reason I never produced a tutorial about Revit from the previous month because recently I just launch my own business just a small business that's why i don't have enough time to produce a tutorial anyway welcome back to my tutorial i'm going to start produce out and more and more for review tutorial start uploading like before okay so now before i get things started i would like to ask you and this is your first time reaching out to my channel or visiting to my channel and you want to learn more about it make sure hit subscribe button below and click the bell icon for turn on for on notification if you don't want to miss my future tutorial and if you are the old subscriber welcome back okay guys i think it's pretty much for introduction and it's been a while from my smack let's jump into our project together okay so here we are in revis architecture template what I'm going to do first in order to make our glass block I'm going to our file over there first thing we need to create our family first go to new sorry I'm going to file over there then new go to our family then I prefer choosing for curtain panel curtain wall panel over there just open up one I open that it will be open another four pages it's the interior right side you want it's a 3d and here is a reference level so i'm going to working on area just this one just close the few guy first okay so now we are in area model so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a reference line for meta parametric for high rp for shortcut key for reference plan click like this hit escape a couple of time then di for dimension for shortcut key just make it like this and here I want to change from inches to millimeter. U and for shortcut key. Then I will change length from inches to our millimeter over there. It's okay. It's okay again. As you can see here. Then here I'm going to assign for a new parameter for high. Create a new parameter on label there. It's a parameter property. And I will rename it for high like this. Go to our family type here change it to 250 i think 200 is enough we do hit apply then it's okay as you can see here then scale i'm going to make it for smaller than that just make it 1.5 okay is quite good then here i'm going to adjustment as well just make it 420 di just make it for another dimension make it equal make it like this and of course here it I want to create a parametric uh, so can but I will skip the pass because my main requirement is only for high is my requirement I'm going to hit escape a couple of times first so now we need to create our panel go to our create tab institution then go to our rectangle I will start from here until here hit escape a couple of times go to our offset point i'm going to change our offset to 20 because i want to offset in 20 hit a spec key for move direction of our rectangle move to here and a call for that i'm going to make it for 20 as well and i'm going to create another material and finish this also create material here create new material rename it i want to make it for glass frame like this then i prefer for black color i think uh, let's me find first we using for the wall paint is the faster way is a black one okay press hit apply then it's okay and create a parametric material frame material materials like this i think i spare on already just slip it be we can adjustment it later it's okay then i can finish as you can see here it i change this one to realistic will be 
so another black color as you can see here now it's time to add another layer it's a frost glass sticker i like to use frost in this case go to our create tab extrusion and rectangle offset for 10 and make our extrusion and i will make it for 120 and for the extrusion start, I will make it for 20. The reason we start from 20 because our thickness is 20 already for our glass frame. That's why we need to add it to 20 from start. Make it for start from 20 like this. And of course, I'm going to change our material also, but let's draw it out first. Sorry, let's draw it out first like this. Okay, then I'm going to create a new material as well. Create new material. I will make it for plastic sticker slash sticker. Yes. Go to apparent library. Where is this mirrors here? Sorry. Plus. Okay. Then I prefer using for glass from boss like this. Change it environment to send to coops. Okay. Apply. It's okay. Then apply it. Create new for frostic sticker. Like this. Okay. Then here I'm going to make another parametric as well. Internal. Just type it for internal start. Okay, here, then here I'm going to tie it also, internal end, like this, it's okay, let's go to our 3D, let's hit finish, as you can see here, it, I change it to realistic, as you can see here, then here I can copy that, CO for copy, start from here unconstrained until here okay i need to align first al let's align it together okay okay uh we could not align because i don't want to adjustment that and of course i will adjustment for this one also make it for a parametric also a tourist and yep okay as you can see here let that thing out of a parametric let's say it's i want to make it from chain high to 240 as you can see here 500 okay as you can see here let's sing out again make it for 200 and for a tree here the frame here just let's make it for 50. as you can see here it's quite thin then i'm going to make it bad for 20 again okay then here i need to apply also okay put that thing out um 40. as you can see here okay so now we are is we are go to go i'm going to load into our project just load into our project then now we are at level one on reverse architecture template the ua for shortcut key i will just draw it for four meter hit as get go to our 3d there and change it i think change it to 4.8 meter just a simple one change from basic wall to curtain ball as you can see here just a empty wall it's just a curtain wall so i'm going to add grill symbol in the top add grill for layout vertical just make it for 240 and for horizontal grill i will make it for 200 since our previous family is 200 by 240 for the glass panel there i'm going to change it to our family 2 that we create at one it's applied Come on, it's okay. As you can see here, 
it I change it to realistic as you can see here it's quite nice for our club block and actually in the case if you want to create another frame to cover your glass over there you can create another frame here on the center here just make another extrusion and make our frosted glass is a smaller than that than we do okay as you can see here and some more you can create those kind of curve also for this kind and don't forget this one is a parametric one you turn around will be automatically generation as you can see here come on as you can see here that's how you create your glass block on your building facade in revit or your internal interior design or inside your toilet also okay guys i think it's pretty much for this tutorial thank you guys for joining me from start to finish if you like this tutorial make sure thumbs up and subscribe if you are first time here thank you guys for watching and i see you for another tutorial and have a nice day. Thank you.